Hey, Josh's Garage here. We're actually going to be doing a snorkel, do it yourself snorkel on this. So we just got one randomly from a wrecking yard. So that'd be good. But we've got a special guest, Tim, from Tim's Garage coming to help us. So Josh's Garage, first, you know, with the help of Tim's Garage. So we're going to have a bit of fun and uh, pull this apart and get a snorkel on here. So which is pretty much two pieces. We've got the first bit goes off the air box. And we've got this side here, so we've just got this. We're going to do this and show you how. If you do get one from a wreckers, how to actually do it without uh, a template, because we don't have a template. So, we measured from the top, we went down, we worked it out, we did a, a bit of a rough measure with um, the temp, with the, not the template, the interior intake, intake yeah. over here. We put the intake up here, it's the wrong lens for this. <laughs> so we, we put the, lamp, the um, intake up there, mounted the top end, you see Josh has got there, Come up gave us a bit of a a rough idea about where that was going to go down here we then measured on the inside and the outside roughly working out where it was all going to fit using, Close a, te their using eyes. a template of using grey lead around that and then drawing some really really rough kind of lines across to get a centre point drilled the hole which turns into Oh, there it is, which turns into that. Look at that. That's <laughs> dead center. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and that's how you do it. That's professional. That's yeah. professional, right, right there. there. That, like, yeah, and so when you do it, you do that. Yeah, who needs it? Templates for girls. <laughs> can't put, probably can't put that on the video. <laughs> that's just his garage, I can tell it or not. <laughs> Hack my ute up. <laughs> I'll do it. Which I'll remind you when I come pick you up next time. <laughs> Look what you did. I know, not only have I borrowed it, I'm going to put Tim's garage on top of it. Instead of saying Ford. Ready? Level? Alrighty, good to go. And then you realise it didn't hold up. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the sound. We're putting, we're putting uh, 19... <laughs> yep, 
<laughs> that, that really doesn't like that drill. It really does not. It's just self ejecting drill bits. Do you reckon we put another three and we could just go in the 1950s? They had flutes, the Buicks yeah. had flutes up the back. And, yeah. and if you just angled them back, you know, like that. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I might rat it. Then when you go through water, you just go quick. So it doesn't really take it on that way. Do you, want to, do you want to take the next, next step? You see? tips if you are uh, needing to do it but that's uh, just in case if you want to go to the wreckers uh, junkyard whatever you want to call it and pick up one of these off a wreck um, that's how easy it is otherwise uh, yeah because I just got one off uh, there instead of uh, buying one and I didn't have a template so we, we made it up and uh, it worked out well and, and that's it so if you got any questions yeah enjoy until next time we've got a few other projects on this roof rack's going to go on it got a big light bar on the, on the um, front of it and we've got a big one piece mud guard going on a mud flap on the back to uh, stop stone chipping uh, my car trailer and the camper trailer as well. So we've got a bit to do to this. Uh, later on we'll have a look at uh, doing some uh, lift kit and stuff on this later as well. So until then, enjoy. We'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.